hey babes welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Susie, and i'm back at it with another video um if you're new go ahead and hit the subscribe button because sis i am the diy queen and i show y'all all the tips and tricks on how to make your own clothing and more we on the road to 5k right now so go ahead and join the family so i am starting off with my chalk i didn't want to use it anymore so i'm using these pins Please, sis, don't make the same mistake I did. These pants were actually too little for me, and they were so freaking cute. I had an outfit and everything in mind. So um, if you do use your leggings, make sure you give yourself some seam allowance. But I went down six inches to make the pants a little longer to give it that um, jogger. I'm not even going to say stack because I wasn't trying to make stack pants. But to give it that extra length or whatnot, um... So now I am basically going to go ahead and cut it out. And as you can see, I didn't give myself that much seam allowance. Y'all, these are my favorite scissors. They was gold and they were so cute. And as you can see, they're giving me a hard time because they barely cutting. But I got some new ones. Okay, so now that we got it cut out, we're going to go ahead and give a little space for the crouch part for the back and this is for going to be able to fit the bottom so it can give it that extra space if you're new here what you do to one side you do to the other um and if you're still here go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the fam because clearly you love it here <laughs> no for real though and comment down below and let me know how y'all day going uh, now, I, like I told y'all before, we're going to use the templates, and these are basically going to be for my uh, flaps right here. These are the flaps, and the other ones are the pockets. And for the flaps, you're going to be needing four of those, and for the pockets, you'll be needing four as well. So this is what you should have for of each piece and right now I am putting all the right sides together so we can get ready and sew. So here we're going to take one of each piece like so and we're going to sew down the center of the pant leg. And make sure you get both of the right sides touching and let's take it to the sewing machine I am using a zigzag stitch to make sure they're secure all the way down okay so this is what it looks like now we're gonna go in with the pockets so I am going to be sewing all the way around but you're going to leave a small opening so you can turn it to the right side. So this is the little hole that I love. So basically you're just gonna turn it to the right side, like so. Right here you see me using a lip gloss to poke in like the corners. You can use whatever you like, a pen, whatever works for you, it really doesn't matter. I'm not sure what happened with the footage, but these are the flaps I wasn't able to show y'all. Like I said, something went wrong with the footage, but I'm folding it to the right side, and this is what it looks like. These are the pockets, and now I am going to do the pockets for the top. So we're going to use our template. I had drawn some lines for where the hands can go, and I pinned the template to the fabric so it can be a little more secure, and as you can see, it still kind of wasn't that secure, but we're going to go ahead and cut that out y'all see my new scissors uh 
they was working y'all they was working good but i should have got on the floor so i can have some you know support to cut i was trying to use my damn leg but yeah polo of course want to take my seat he was nice and comfy so i let him stay this is my baby to all my new subscribers a couple seconds later he was knocked out but now we're going to go ahead and sew around the pocket because you're going to make it into like one piece we're sewing every piece but the piece that's touching the phone and now we're um putting it to the right side and this is what you sh should have i couldn't get my words out and i'm going to do the same thing to the next pocket this is what it looks like um i'm sewing the part that i just um pointed to so it can lay a little flatter that's the part that's going to allow the hand to go into the pocket <laughs> So now let's start putting things together. I am placing my pockets where they need to go using my pins to keep them into place for when it's time for me to sew everything down. And I am going to do the same thing with the flap in the next pocket. All right, so now you're gonna take your tape measure and I am going to basically go down to about, um, checking my notes now. I made this video a while ago and <laughs> I kind of forgot. So about 13 to 14, 12, 13, 14 inches. Um, I did measure where I actually wanted the pocket. So it's going to be somewhere up in there. So this is where I'm going to place it. And like I said, I'm going to pin it down just like I did the pocket before. All right, so now with the flap, um, we just literally going to try to place it in the center of the pocket so it can be kind of sort of even. It don't have to be perfect. We're going to place those pins and it's almost about that time to start sewing everything down. And this is what everything is looking like. And we're going to head to the sewing machine. So, y'all, this is the pocket that's going to be on the side of the leg. Um, you only going to be sewing three sides. Why? Because we're going to need the parts to put our hand through, right? And this is the third side that we sewing down. So right here we are sewing down the flap. We're going to sew it down while it's open first. And then we just want to literally close it and do a top stitch on it. This is the top stitch. So right here, this is what your pocket should look like. Nice and cute and neat. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the pocket that's at the top. We're gonna sew everything, but the part, of course, where your hand's supposed to go through. And this is what this pocket is looking like. Nice and neat. So let's go to the next step. Now that we have the pockets all on, you wanna put the pins together like so. And I will be using my pins to put it in place. And we are only going to be sewing the top, not the legs. So 
So of course you want to do the same thing to both sides and then you want to flip the pans to the right side make sure everything is lined up place your pins and then we are literally going to go ahead and sew the pants all together and I am using my zigzag stitch and we just gonna sew that all the way down y'all i just want to take the time out to thank each and every one of y'all um and also thank god for the blessings that i have been receiving lately um things is really starting to come through for you girl make sure y'all hit the subscribe button let's get the family to 5k because it's lit 2022 definitely my year so now we're done with all that. This is our last step, the elastic band. I did not get into detail with this because I showed y'all this so many times. So, yeah. This is it. Let me know what y'all think. This is the final and finishing look. I couldn't fit them, so I had to find somebody that can. And period. Let's go. Let me know what y'all think. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell button to be notified when your girl posts. And I'm out. Love you guys. Peace.